Hey everybody, um, here is my review on the Rurock Atlas Ronin. Um, so uh, there's a couple of reviews out on this at the moment. Um, quite a few of them negative, um, which I think is a shame. Um, I think, um, you know, Rurock are trying to do something a bit different. Um, they've come out with some ideas that um, are really, um, really quite um, um, new and exciting. Um, and I think, um, you know, the, the reviews people have given have been, uh, the negativity have been um, quite, uh, you know, they're, they're, they're petty little flaws, you know, that are not, you know, and uh, I think a lot of it comes down to fit. Um, so, you know, I'm not criticizing those guys with their videos, you know, um, for them. Um, I think as well, coupled with um, when they ordered their atlases, they ordered it over two years ago, um, and Rurok have had some design issues along the way. They've then um, obviously solved those design issues, and then three months ago, they came out with these great uh, colorways for a carbon fiber model of the atlas. Um, and what happened was, is so these people who've been waiting two years are seeing this better product come out, and then it's shipping, you know, a lot quicker. So I understand the frustration that they had. Um, you know, um, at the end of the day, Rurok are a small British company. Um, you know that are um, the shells are um, the carbon fiber is um, Italian, but you know they're a UK company, and um, you know they're they're trying to bring out a motorcycle helmet, and I think they've done a really good job. Um, I mean this. Um, Atlas um, Ronan carbon fiber. Um, I think it's three hundred and fifty pound. My bill was four hundred pound. Um, for four hundred pound, I made a mistake. It comes with a black visor and it comes with clear. Um, I didn't realize that, so I ordered a black visor. Uh, when I realized my mistake, I emailed Rurok um, and they offered me a refund. I said, "No, I'll have a low light one instead." So I've got um, the yellow low light, which is actually a bit more orangey red. Um, so the um, uh, for th uh, four hundred pound, uh, I then also got the crash insurance. So I think that was for fifteen pound for crash insurance. What that is is basically, if I get a crash, um, they will uh, I can have another helmet off them for half the money. Um, so I thought for fifteen quid that was a good deal, um, and I got that. So in total, I spent four hundred pound. I waited three months, and here is my Ronin um, Atlas from Rurock. Um, and what can I say? Everyone has told, said how beautiful it is, and it is. It is really nice uh, to look at. It is just badass. Um, that's what my missus said when I put it on. She said, that's a badass helmet. Um, I think if you're looking at helmets at the moment, uh, Bell Bullet came along, and um, the Bell Bullet, you pick up 350 quid. It is not carbon fiber. This is carbon fiber. Uh, the Bell Bullet is a low profile helmet. This is a low profile helmet. Um, and uh, the Bell Bullet was inspired retro design. Um, and if you look at the Bell Bullet, you know, there are loads of flaws on that helmet. Um, you know, petty things, you know, that it's just part of the helmet. You know, at the end of the day, what are you expecting for 350 quid? Um, you know, you can't be all things to all men. Um, so, you know, it's um, picking the best of uh, the situation with the Bell. Um, the fit was, you know, it either fitted you or it didn't. Um, there was no compromise on it. I think there is a little bit more sway with Rurok, but the same applies, it fits you or it doesn't. Um, I mean, at the end of the day, um, you know, I I try on Shuba. Um, Shuba is really good manufacturer, been around forever, everybody raves about and makes very good quality helmets. Does not fit my head. There is not a single Shuba out there that feels comfortable. Do I go online slagging them off? No. It's, uh, it's just a fact that it doesn't fit my head. Move on to the next brand. Um, so Rurok um, fit wise, um, I am a 57 centimetre head. So when I get a medium sized helmet, it fits me great off the bat. As soon as it starts to break, it starts to get a little bit loose. Um, you know, if I go with a small, sometimes they're too small. When they break, you know, they're not. So mediums is where I have to go. Um, and um, uh, Rurok is a tight um, fit helmet. So for me, the medium, I think, will fit perfectly when it breaks in. So it's not too tight. Um, and um, yeah, I, I think really they size a little bit smaller. Um, so uh, yeah, fit for me, it does fit. Um, obviously, if you're gonna put it on, off, on, off all day, as you do when you get your new helmet, your ears are gonna start to hurt where you're catching them on certain areas. Um, so, um, you know, at the end of the day, Rurok have been really um, open and honest and joining in on reviews saying, look, man, you know, we'll refund you, you know, send it back, we'll send you a different size up. So I think, you know, 
It's £350. What carbon fibre helmet can you get for £350 um, today? You, you can't. Um, you know, you, you're going to get a helmet that's £450 discounted down to maybe £300. Um, you know, and especially with the features that this has. And it is so light. I mean, people, I mean, I, this is my first carbon fibre helmet, but other people have reviewed and said, you know, out of the carbon fibre helmets they've owned, this is the lightest. Um, and some people, I'm going to echo what they say, that um, when you have it on for more than half an hour, you forget you're wearing it. Um, now, you can't give a better review than that. Um, you know, if I wear it for more than half an hour, I forget that I am wearing a helmet. Um, it, that's it, you know. Stop the video here, go fucking buy one. It's as simple as that. Um, if it fits you, happy days, you're welcome. If it doesn't, send it back. It, that's it. Review over. Nah, I'm joking. I'll give you a little bit more depth. People have done a lot, you know, further than this. So if you want to know the inside of a duck's ass, go have a look at their reviews, they'll tell you. Um, so what you got on here, great big vent at the front, two vents at the side. These vents are for show. The exhaust isn't, however. But these are for show, so they, um, people are saying you get loads of airflow through it, you don't, they're, they're just there. Um, the air comes up and hits the mask here, the visor here. People are saying about you can't open this one-handed, when I'm holding it one-handed it's a bit difficult, but it, um, it is as tight or as stiff as you want by screwing these in. Um, for me, absolutely fine one-handed, when I've got it on my head, um, on the bike, not an issue at all. Um, so, you know, you just unscrew it there. People were concerned that these you know the more you open and shut it they can fall out um what i found is the airflow is so good on this um i didn't need to open the visor to be honest i was opening it out of habit you know if you're stopped at the light you open it but when you're riding along and i like to ride with my visor open uh with sunglasses on and i didn't need to with this um you know so great design on the airflow maybe too good um, you know yesterday when I took it out for a test it was 24 degrees which is unusual for the UK you know we're normally about 15 degrees so I think it's probably going to be a summer helmet um, they are bringing out a chin curtain uh, this is the other thing you know Rurock have sold this it's 350 pound um, it, they could have asked for 400 um, they could have asked for 450 we would have paid it um, you know I think they've gone in um, on the cheaper end of the scale to um, to get the feedback um, so I want to give them positive feedback um, you know they're a British company I want to support them um, I think what they have done people have said oh, it's their first helmet they're only going to improve upon it and true they are um, but I think you know they've knocked it out of the park for 350 quid for a carbon fiber helmet if it fits you, um, you know, it looks badass. It feels so comfortable, um, you know, uh, and it's so light. Um, the opening here, the aperture that you can see out, um, you know, my faults with the helmet are niggles. You know, they're really niggles. Um, everyone said it comes with a tool. Tool to unscrew there, it's a hex Allen key. Um, they need to solve that because um, you know if you forget the tool at home, um, you're going to be cursing with a rock. So you know they, they need to rip off Bell Bullet and just do it so you can unscrew it with a coin. Um, swapping the visor out, same as the Bell Bullet. Um, you know um, if you've got one of them, you know what's involved. Um, if you're sitting at home or in an office, not a problem. You sit there, change the helmet, uh, change the visor out. If you're by the side of the road in the pouring rain, you are not going to be happy. Um, you know, it's um, you, you've got to unscrew it, put it between your knees, you know, line it up. It's not a quick, it's a quick thing. For me, that's not an issue. You know, um, uh, I don't normally ride. Um, you know, if, I, if I'm going out during the day and it's a sunny day, I'll put the dark visor on. But if I'm staying out all day, um, I'll more than likely put the clear or the low light with sunglasses behind it. Um, you can fit glasses um, when you're wearing a Rurock, um, so glasses do fit through. It's not as easy as, say, with the Shark, where they've got the indents for it, um, but it's not hard either, you know. The only thing that actually got in the way was the nose peak. I uh, forgot it was there, trying to push my glasses on, thinking, why is it not working? It's because the nose peak here is stopping the glasses going through, so don't be a twat like me and uh, lift them over and they'll go through fine. Um, so, uh, yeah, really light. Comfortable, lining is eh. sort of sound it. Good review there. Eh. It's it's just alright, you know, it's com it's comfy, you know, but it's not 
it's not a wry lining, you know, it's not been bathed in angel tears where you put it on, you're like, oh, you know, you don't get that, you know, you just whack it on. Um, it's okay, I mean, Rurok, if you want to bring out an uprated lining, bathed in angel tears, you know, um, produced by naked women, um, all supermodel standards um, from, you know, the lost city of Atlantis, um, then I'll happily buy that. And um, it seems pretty easy to whip them out and put them in. Um, design innovations. Um, I mean, it's a helmet, it's a carbon fibre helmet. What am I on about? Um, what they have done is obviously style. Um, you know, I was talking about the Bell Bullet being custom retro. Uh, then your only other manufacturer will be Icon Air Flight, um, where they've gone completely the other way, um, and they're going with um, uh, uh, ultra modern. This sits in between the two. Um, you know, it's it's aggressive. Um, so if you're sat on a Harley with, rah, you know, your graphic on here, that looks cool. If you're on a sport bike, um, it looks cool. Um, you know, it, it's not cafe racer, it's not super modern, it's just, you know, um, I'm going to, you know, give you a Glasgow kiss if you uh, look at me the wrong way. It's it's cool, um, you know, and so design, innovate, so an innovation there is design, um, number one. Number two, which I'm really excited about, is here at the back, the shockwave. Now, people will do reviews where they've unscrewed it. There's basically a cable under here. The helmet comes with headphones and speakers already in. So when the shockwave is released, um, basically what you do, you buy it, you unscrew those two bit there. It's like an old N64 cartridge or whatever. You slide it in, job done. You've got Bluetooth audio. Um, now people are saying, oh, well, it's at the back of your helmet. You're not going to want to touch the back of your helmet. I don't think they're going to be that stupid that you're going to operate the buttons. I think it's going to be voice controlled. Um, if if it isn't voice controlled, now I take it back. You know, we're rocky of being numpties. Um, that's dangerous, but I, I think it'll be voice controlled. Um, I'm going to hear the reviews on that. There's see actually there's the cable hanging out there. Some people have been you know when they get the helmet, they're going like, oh, what's this cable? It's the cable for the Bluetooth. You know, just tuck it back there. Um, you won't even know it's it's there. Um, if you're not going to use the Bluetooth, I'm going to check out the reviews if, if I like what I hear, um, pun intended. I will, um, I'll get the, um, get the Bluetooth. For me, I don't ride with Bluetooth at the moment. The reason being is, um, I don't want the distraction. I don't play music. So, but I certainly don't want to be strapping the scene to the side. I don't want to be fucking ripping out the lining and pissing about with the helmet. You know, this plug and play, brilliant. Absolutely great idea. Uh, another innovation from Rurok um, is Fidlock. Um, so Fidlock, I'm, I'm getting used to it. Um, I mean, you've seen loads of reviews, you know, you just literally, it's done by a magnet, you fling it over there, um, that's it, it's locked, you do that, it comes off. Personally, I prefer the ratchet. Um, I think that's because I'm just not used to this yet. Um, I think the more I get used to it, the more I'm gonna, gonna you know, just be all right with it. Um, I mean, at the end of the day, I don't like D-ring. Um, so, you know, this is an improvement over D-Ring. Ratchet just feels a bit more positive for me. Um, but, you know, um, I think I'll get used to it and I think they'll probably be on par. So, um, so three innovations right there, you know, looks, uh, the design, uh, the airflow coming into this, this uh, visor here and uh, the fact that you don't open the visor very often um, or need to open the visor very often, massive um, innovation there. Um, the shockwave and the fidlock for 350 fucking pound. So, you know, straight away, brand new helmet, you know, you can do improvements. This is your first out in bollocks. You've knocked it out of the park. You know, this, this is a great first go. Um, absolutely brilliant. Um, I mean, the improvements I would make, yep, sold this here. The reason they put in this um, uh, bolt system is because um, what they said is is they wanted a flush profile with the helmet if you want to use um, goggles. Not something I want to do, so for me, I'd rather that feature being taken away and um, just having you know um, a better swap out system here. Just a key, um, a, a coin to go in would be fine. Um, 
the lightness of this is brilliant um you know as, as everyone will say and because of the lightness to comfort you know and uh, when you are at 70 miles an hour and you've got your helmet on and you're doing a shoulder check the wind just goes straight over it does not pull your head down um it's brilliant you just got complete free movement in this the wind um, at 70 miles an hour is not hitting you you know and i ride an, a naked bike you know and it's it's absolutely perfect spot on for that um, well done real rock uh, the only other helmet for me i mean obviously you know loads out there but the bell bullet you know does quite a good job of that as well um you know um but this this is better i would say wind noise um it's a very light open helmet so basically you've got your big vents here and you've got your two at the side now these you can close with the inside under the helmet there there is a button system here again a little niggle um, there are three settings. There is closed, there is the medium setting which just diverts air to demist your, your uh, visor and then there's fully open. With a gloved hand when you're riding along you don't know which one you're fucking on. So it's either shut or open really. I mean you might get lucky and hit the middle one. With an ungloved hand I can feel it easy. With a gloved hand forget it. So maybe they want to just make that a bit more obvious. These side vents can't be shut. Um, and they do blow up air around your ears, um, which makes it a little bit more noisy. So the, the option to shut these, especially for winter time in the UK, um, you know, that that needed looking at maybe. Um, it's not a big deal. And like I say, for 350 quid for what you're getting, you'd rather the airflow than not the airflow. So, you know, they made a call. Uh, it's the right one. Um, so, uh, yeah, it's... It's noisy, no more noisy than the Bell Bullet. Um, I'm referencing the Bell Bullet because obviously I've got one, um, but also a Bell Bullet is 350 pound, but not carbon fiber. So it's kind of a good good comparison. Um, so uh, with the chin curtain as well, and this is another thing, you know, they, they, they've they shipped this without a chin, chin curtain. We ordered it not knowing, and they're saying, you know, we'll ship it for free. Um, we've designed one now, you can all have it to the guys who ordered. So, you know, kudos Real Rock, you know, thank you for that. Um, so a chin curtain across here, I think, will reduce um, the noise quite a bit as well. Um, but basically, below 50 miles an hour, yeah, you know, not a problem. Um, above 50 miles an hour, you hear noise. Um, if you wear earphones or plugs, it probably won't be an issue. But, um, for me, it wasn't an issue. If I'm touring, yeah, not the right helmet for me then. Um, you know, but I'm not touring. Um, half an hour blasts here and there, half an hour. The longest I'm on the bike's probably about two and a half, three hours. Um, so it's absolutely fine for that. Um, so noise, um, yeah, could be a slight negative. Um, airflow though on the positive side, absolutely brilliant. Lightness and comfort fits absolutely fine. Um, people were saying about putting it on and off and Brewer Rock then came up and said, no, you to put a helmet on from the back. I fucking don't put it on from the front. You pull the helmet out, you put it over, it's on. You wince as you do with every helmet. Um, you know, it's it's not too tight. One thing I have is my nose actually touches in here. So my nose fits inside this part here, but it does actually touch. Now, that made me get paranoid, um, as somebody else mentioned in the video. In an impact, is that gonna push against my nose? Is my nose gonna get broken? So I went off and I put my other helmets on and I started pushing them and I started pulling them and running them down and up and seeing, you know, all. And all helmets do it. Go put your helmet on, go push it so the padding doesn't and you'll feel the helmet will touch somewhere. And what I found on my other two helmets, I've, um, I've got a Bell Bullet and I've got the MT, um, uh, an MT um, helmet. And pushing them, they both actually touch my chin. Um, not on my nose, but on my chin. So... You know, um, I think the fact that my nose is touching this is making it, making me conscious, um, but it's not um, a safety issue, I believe. I mean, we can probably um, come back a bit more on that. So comfort feels absolutely fine. Like I say, after half an hour of you sitting in here, you forget you have it on. Um, so just so you can see, it's not fully flush, but it's not shark, you know, big padded. Um, I think, you know, it fits absolutely fine. With the visor, you've got three settings. So fully open, there's your middle of the way, which I call the Iron Man, and there's shut. Now, I think this actually has four settings because when I fully shut it, see, I haven't fully shut it there, there's a gap and you still get a good airflow there. And what I found was, is when I was riding along and I was getting a little bit warmer at 30 miles an hour, that was enough to really cool me down. Um, and yesterday was 24 degrees. 
This was brilliant when you just wanna, you know, have the air hit your face. Um, it is, you can see, you know, I'm at, even in a tuck position, it's it's just right. You can just see out of it. It's, you know, you, it's not right in your eye line. Um, and then obviously fully opened. Um, if you want it shut so it fills up on here, when you're riding along and you just grab it down, it will it will go into that bit and seal up and it won't move. You know, I'm I'm like the wind here now. You've got to give it a jab to get it going. Um, would you like it a bit more positive? Yeah, you know, pull it down or maybe a switch or something. Sure, I go back, 350 quid. You know, it, it, this works absolutely fine. It just works, you know. Um, so, yeah, it's comfortable. It's low enough profile. I mean, I prefer it a bit closer on the chin. This sticks out a little bit, I think. Um, you know, but when you've got your jacket on or if you've got a hoodie on underneath, you know, it pads out. So you're not a bobblehead. It's not as low profile as the Bell Bullet, but it's, it's in between the two. Um, and again, go just try one on, you know. You can sit here and go, my head's this, mine's that, mine's the other. It works for you, it doesn't work for you. I mean, we all agree with the visor down, the black visor, you look badass. I mean, look at this helmet. It's fucking gorgeous. Um, it's gorgeous. It is, um, look, you can open it with one hand. Um, it is comfortable. Um, yeah, the comfort could be better, um, you know, but everything could be better. Um, it's really good to look at, really great airflow. This vid locker, people were saying actually here on the straps, you know, um, that they're a bit, you know, coming down. I pulled them up like this. Like I say, at the moment, I'm still learning this vid lock, so I am fiddling um, to get it on. Um, so there it is, and you hear the click. Um, so, you know, these straps here, what I'm probably going to do is cut them um, and stitch them up. Undo it, you do that, but the same with a ratchet, you do that, you pull it out. Um, I think over time there, I've just done it, you know, um, you just got to get used to it. And there, I've done it again, see, muscle memory, you kick it in. Um, so, you know, uh, these flaps being here, though, if I've got gloved hands on, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm obviously going to miss it because that bit there, actually, I've just fucking done it. Um, so, you know... That's just getting used to it. Um, I'm not raving about this Fidlock, but it's a good design, um, you know, new bit of technology that um, uh, that's coming out and will make its way onto more helmets. Um, so, you know, you get your comfort, you put it on. Um, but, you know, it's, um, yeah. Uh, people were saying that when you open and close, open and close, open and close, these screws start to come loose. And will they fall off? I think you're going to notice when they're loose enough. But, you know, maybe they want to do like a T on the end. So, you know, you have to wedge them in or maybe put like a, a cord, you know, bubble inside that if it drops off. Personally, I don't see it happening. But I opened and shut this uh, visor out of habit. Um, it, it, the airflow is so good, you do not need to open the visor. Um, the majority of the time, unless it's baking hot and you're sat at the lights, um, then you will open it, get a bit of airflow. As soon as you go off, you're dropping it back down again. Um, it, and you're not, you know, that's if you're sat at a lot of lights. Um, you know, if you're only sat there for like a couple of minutes, it's it's absolutely fine. It was habit making me open and shut it. So most of the time, you probably actually don't need to fuck around with your visor. You're just going to sit there with it shut most of the time, looking cool as fuck. You're just going to sit there. Looking around, looking badass. I mean, if you want the airflow, you know, um, you can, well, that's when you might even take it off and just keep your sunglasses on. Um, so, yeah, you're not actually opening and shutting it quite a lot. Um, let me see here so you can see a bit more on the side um, and how that's uh, fitting in. But really good, low profile. Like I say, you, you soon forget that you're actually wearing it. And... You can't give a better review than that, you know. Um, pulling it off, you wince, you wince pulling every helmet off. Um, I mean, I think, Rurok, you have done a sterling job. 350 quid, this is by far probably the best helmet out there um, for that kind of money on a carbon fibre. Um, 
Also as well, I have long hair, so any ladies out there, um, it fits just the same as any other um, helmet. Having long hair or not makes not a blind bit of difference, by the way. Um, if anything, it's just a pain in the ass. Um, so it's um, a cracking helmet for the money. Um, yes, it's Real Rock's first outing. They are going to improve on things, but I think they've knocked it out of the park first time round um, for the price point. Uh, the next helmets are going to start to creep up in price, I would imagine, as the features um, start to do in your feedback. So, you know, go support the guys at Ruroc. Um, go get yourself um, an Atlas. Um, you know, if you like it, you're welcome. If you don't, send it back. You know, it's it's that simple in the world we live in. So I hope this review maybe helps a few people. Um, and you know, um, I'm about you know. If you want to leave a comment, um, I'll happily answer for anything I haven't uh, spoke about in the review. There are lots of other reviews out there that go a bit more in depth and don't ramble on like a twat like I do. Um, but hopefully, it was useful for you guys. And um, yeah, that's the uh, Ru Rock Atlas Ronin. I'm going to say version one because they're bringing out a new drop. Um, so this colorway today is the 30th of June 2019. Um, and I think in a couple of days time they are bringing out drop two they're calling it and uh, I saw in there the Ronin Platinum so that will be the same design no doubt um, but a platinum colorway um, which will be silver basically um, which uh, I probably will prefer but I have a street triple with gold forks so this goes much better with it so the black and yellow and it's nice to have the version one. I mean, Ruroc, um, it wouldn't have cost much, but what would have been really cool is if you wrote the number on here, like uh, number 60 of 500. Um, that would have been cool, a bit personalized or a certificate that comes with it. Um, but yeah, I uh, hope that was helpful, guys. Um, let me know um, in the comments if uh, I missed anything. Safe riding.